All right, we are on a to-do here, and this is going to be start a transaction with your team leader, and hopefully they participate in this. This will help you understand the workflow. So basically all we're doing here is going to have them be our client. That way I can do my, uh, my first transaction with somebody, and if I run into an issue, I can solve those problems. Because there's, there's no way to watch a video and learn everything just by watching it. The only way to actually learn how to do it is to actually really do it, and that way you'll actually learn how the process works, and then you understand it. Um, so that's one thing that um, people struggle with with change is they try to just learn it and then they expect to be able to do it. And the only way to do it is to do action. So that's why we're doing these to-dos. So let's start a transaction with your team leader. All we do here is hover over transactions and we're going to go to start a new transaction. And we are going to do the electronic way of doing this. We're going to do a um, buying loop. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to use my form sets because I want to have all the forms automatically come in for my residential purchase agreement. Create the buying loop. And I will go with 444 Team Leader Avenue. And then again, I'm just using Rochester as my address. It's going to search for that property. It does not find it, so I hit continue. And here are all the forms. And I'm actually going to take a bunch of these out of here just so you can so you don't have to sit through me filling all these forms out. So I'm checking them, then I'm removing, and um, we're just going to do two forms. Normally you'd fill out all the forms, but this will give you the idea. So then we create the loop, and if our team leader is already in our system, we could actually type in their name right here. And obviously this mine is not, so I'm going to do new client, and I'm going to do team leader. And I'm just using the old Google Plus trick here, plus team leader, putting in their email address. Obviously, you're putting in your team leader's email address here. Hit and save. And now I've got them on there, so I hit save and continue. And I'm going to go in and I would actually fill out the data of this form. And I'm going to sign this, so I click there, I sign, save and complete. Oh, I missed the signature. Return to the form. And where did I miss? Oh, there's another page. There we go. Add that. Save and complete. And then I'm going to do Keller 1. We sign. And I continue. I go to my next form, which is going to be my last form. I'm only doing two just for time's sake. Go to this. Good to go. Save and complete. And now I hit continue. And I'm going to send this to him. I'm going to say, hey, team leader, just doing my first transaction um, with my transactions and wanted to do a test contract with you. Can you please uh, act as my buying client? and then hit send and they're going to get the email to go in and fill that form out so now I'm good and I'll jump over here I should actually have an email documents because I use that plus trick so it'll still email it directly to me that's why it's saying me normally it won't say that it'll, it'll tell you who it's from for your clients so then your team leader will get this then they'll be able to go in and actually sign the documents and go through everything and then as they do you're going to get your alerts and go through the whole contract process with your team leader. So that is how you do it. And then from there, make sure you finish the entire contract. So have them fill it all out, have them sign everything, and then you can go back in and review it and then um, send it off to the listing client or get to that point. But then you at least understand how that workflow works.